In this video, we're going to go over how to attach your one-way mirror to your rectangular frame that we built in a previous video. So basically what we're going to be doing is we are going to be gluing this mirror panel onto our wooden frame like so. And this is really the basis around how smart mirrors work with a one-way mirror panel uh, hiding the hardware and the display behind it so that only the display comes through and then otherwise it's reflective. So right here I have a mirror view panel of glass that I picked up at a local glass shop. You'll also need Gorilla Glue, which we'll be using to glue the glass panel to our frame. You can use epoxy or some other uh, type of glue, uh, but for this video we're gonna be using Gorilla Glue. We are also going to be using these furniture corner protective brackets, and what these are going to be for is holding the glass panel in place while we glue, and it's also to kind of control the excess glue. I have glued mirror panels onto frames in the past and only used glue and then no mounting brackets, but if you use too much glue, it can kind of spill over and it looks less professional, it looks less neat. So we're gonna be using these brackets to help with that. And then you're also going to need either a rubber mallet or a small hammer. Before we start applying any glue, you're going to want to make sure that you are gluing this to the correct side of the frame. In a previous video, we cut out this notch, which is supposed to be used for the extension cord to come out of the frame so that we can power the internal components of the mirror without a cord having to leak through the back plate. So if, the back, if you want the cord to come out of the back and not the front where the mirror will actually be located, make sure that the notch is down. So that way, the mirror goes here, and then the back plate goes on the side with the notch. We are going to be applying the glue in certain areas on the frame. So we're gonna do all of the corners, and then we're gonna do a couple spots in between as well. We could do one long strip, but as I mentioned before, too much glue can leak out of the frame and it looks a little bit less professional. So what we're gonna be doing is adding a few dollops of glue along the frame, and then we're gonna put the glass panel on, and then we're gonna put these corner brackets over and then nail them in to hold it down. But for extra hold, we're gonna add a little bit of glue inside of these frames as well, so that once the frame, or excuse me, once the bracket is on and then it's nailed in, the glue will dry and that will be extra hold holding the glass panel onto the frame. So now we're gonna begin applying the glue. Now that we have the glass panel on, we are going to apply these mounting brackets on the corners, like so. I'm gonna add a little bit inside here as well, just a tiny dab. Again, just to be a little bit more to hold things together. and then repeat for all corners. Now I've just made sure that all of the edges are flush so nothing is out of place. Now we are going to begin nailing these uh, furniture corner protectors into the frame. Because they're very small, uh, what I'm doing is I'm just putting the nail or the tack inside of pliers and that's what I'm gonna be using to hold it in place before I hammer it in. Now that we're about halfway done, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that there's no excess glue coming out because that's what looks bad, which it looks like there already is some starting to leak out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe that away as it continues to, to come out. And Gorilla Glue, what I've noticed it just, is it does tend to expand as well. Uh, it gets bigger than what you just placed on. So be aware that a little goes a long way. And now that all of the nails are in, we are again going to check for any 
glue coming out of the edges where we had applied it. And once we've wiped all that away, we are gonna give this 24 hours to fully dry. And now that your mirror has dried, you have the frame and mirror all set and ready to go, ready to put your internal components on the inside.